This episode is brought to you by Incogni. Hi, welcome to another episode of Cold Fusion. If you haven't been paying attention to the news headlines, you might have missed the drama that rocked the tech and AI industry for a week. Breaking news uh, related to OpenAI. Steve Kovac joins us now. Uh, this is a stunner uh, in some respects, Steve. Yeah, Sam Altman is out as CEO of OpenAI. We just got this announcement. It's a script even Hollywood would die to write. A superstar CEO on one side, a disgruntled board on the other, caught in the middle were 770 employees and the future of artificial intelligence. It wasn't another major AI breakthrough, but a soap opera of sorts, all occurring within the company OpenAI, the same company that's behind ChatGPT. Their CEO, Sam Altman, was abruptly fired from the company's board on November 17th. The news stunned everyone in the tech community, but what immediately followed was pure chaos. Replacement CEOs were being appointed almost daily, and there was an internal mass revolt from employees. If you're a keen viewer of this channel, you would know that I've covered OpenAI a lot. I've even done a whole biography on Sam Altman's life. But for those of you who are unaware, he's the co-founder of OpenAI and a very prominent figure in the tech industry. He started a global race for AI dominance, even surpassing some of the largest companies out there. So when Sam was suddenly fired, then rumored to move over to Microsoft, and then returned, all within a matter of days, everyone is left scratching their heads. What happened here? One of the reasons might even be AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, one of the holy grails of all of technology. So let's get into it. Imagine that you're Sam Altman. You're in Las Vegas, enjoying the festivities of a Formula One race on the weekend. You're in your hotel room when you get a link, a Google Meet link. It's from your chief engineer and a board member, Ilya Sutskova. But as soon as you join the video call, you realize that something is very wrong. All the other board members are there, except for your close friend and co-founder, Greg Brockman. They tell you, in a matter of minutes, that you're fired from the company. They don't give you any clear reason, just some vague accusation of dishonesty. Then they hang up, and then you're locked out of your computer. This is how it happened for Sam Altman on November 17th, 2023. But he wasn't the only one. Greg Brockman, another co-founder, was also demoted, but asked to stay at the company. Brockman was so outraged that he decided to quit on the spot. The board appointed Mira Marati, the CTO, as interim CEO. She was the only one who knew about the plan beforehand. The news was soon to be made public in a blog post. The board said that Sam was fired because he, quote, was not consistently candid in his communication with the board, end quote. They didn't elaborate any further, leaving everyone to wonder what really happened behind the scenes. Was it a hostile takeover? A corporate coup? How could the board fire someone so influential without any warning or notice? Part of the answer lies in OpenAI's unique corporate structure, and there are some other theories as well, but we'll explore that in the next part of the video. But let's see what happened next. The news caused a huge uproar in the AI community and beyond. Greg Brockman tweeted his support for Sam and his disappointment with the board. Many people joined him, including Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. Microsoft is OpenAI's key partner and has invested $13 billion for a 49% stake in its for-profit wing. Since they didn't have any seats on the board, Microsoft had no say in the matter. They could only watch from the sidelines. Inside OpenAI, however, there was pandemonium. Employees demanded more clarification, but the board remained tight-lipped. Meanwhile, rumors circulated that Microsoft had already extended an offer to Sam and Greg to join their ranks and establish a new AI research team. Sam's supporters were ready to jump ship, and at the same time, they were plotting his return. In a surprising twist, the interim CEO, Mira Marati, had turned her back on the board and joined Team Sam over the next few days. With her help, Altman met with the board the next day to discuss his possible return. The meeting went on late into the night, and the verdict? Nah, Sam was still out. The board did not have a change of heart. That was everyone on the board, except Ilya Suskova. In a surprising twist, the architect of Sam's dismissal himself made an unexpected U-turn. On the Monday, he expressed regret for his participation in the board's actions and aligned himself with Sam. Talk about a role reversal. By then, the board had already appointed Emmett Shear, former Twitch CEO, as the new OpenAI chief. Emmett himself was surprised and pledged to bring clarity to the situation, 
he was going to initiate an independent investigation to find out why his predecessor was terminated. In response to the new CEO's appointment, 747 of 770 employees sent a scathing open letter to the board. They collectively issued an ultimatum. You resign or we're all going to join Microsoft. In this fluid, turbulent scenario, the OpenAI headquarters stood deserted, devoid of anyone. There was no sign of a clear resolution on the horizon. As the tech world watched, most people thought that this was going to drag on, but then suddenly, Sam Altman got his job back. On the 22nd of November, only five days after he was fired, OpenAI announced that they'd reached an agreement with Sam, and they had a new board too. Sam posted on his X account that he was excited to return to OpenAI and continue the strong partnership with Microsoft. Greg Brockman also came back into the fold, announcing his return with a picture. Except for Adam D'Angelo, the old board members had all left. They were replaced by Brett Taylor, the former co-CEO of Salesforce, and Larry Summers, the former Treasury Secretary. Emmett Shear, who was the interim CEO for just 72 hours, seemed to be happy with the outcome, judging from his tweet. So, just as abruptly as it started, the five-day-long saga ended with Sam Altman back at the wheel. Now, the major question is, why did the board fire their CEO in the first place? The answer is complicated and murky. There is no official explanation, only rumours and speculation so far. But, based on some reports, we can piece together some possible factors. Please keep in mind that this is just the situation at the time of writing. The board claimed that they had some disagreements with Sam about how the company was run, and also that Sam wasn't always truthful to them. This seems like a bit of a weak reason to fire a CEO who was negotiating a deal to sell shares to investors at a whopping $86 billion valuation. That should be a big achievement for any company. But OpenAI is not a typical company. It's a bit different to the other tech giants out there. I've explained these aspects in more detail in previous videos on OpenAI and Sam Altman, so I'm not going to repeat myself here. You can check out those episodes if you want to on the channel. But in a nutshell, OpenAI was founded in 2015 as a non-profit with a mission to create artificial intelligence that would benefit humanity. At its formation, it had a celebrity team of founders, including Elon Musk. Musk would leave in 2018 due to a conflict of interest. Since then, Sam Altman has been leading the firm. He established a for-profit arm that raised billions from Microsoft. The main reason was to fund the expensive research and development for their AI models. Sam Altman was in charge of the for-profit section. However, the whole firm was set up in such a way that the non-profit faction had the ultimate power and it was controlled by the board members. This odd structure left Sam and Microsoft at the mercy of the board and they were skeptical of corporate expansion. Besides Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, other board members included Ilya Sutskova. We've already mentioned him quite a few times now. He is a prominent researcher in the AI field and is very vocal about AI safety. Then there's Adam D'Angelo, a former Facebook executive and co-founder of Quora. There were other notable names on the board. It would seem like there's an ethos struggle within the company. Does OpenAI go all out and try to make as much money as possible? Or do they stick to their core value of making AI that will benefit humanity? Sam has a knack for spotting trends, though he's been working on some other side projects that were beyond the reach of OpenAI's safety-conscious board. One project that raised some eyebrows was WorldCoin. It was a crypto venture that used eyeball scanning technology and was marketed as a potential solution for AI-induced job losses, a stepping stone to universal basic income. He was also toying with the idea of launching his own AI chip-making venture to reduce the over-reliance on NVIDIA. He reached out to sovereign wealth funds in the Middle East for a potential investment in the realm of tens of billions of dollars. Additionally, he pitched to SoftBank Group another multi-billion dollar investment, this time in a company he planned to start with former Apple design maestro, Johnny Ive. The focus was AI-oriented hardware. These projects were seen as distractions by some of the board members. They wanted their CEO to focus on open AI and its core mission. To escalate matters even more, Sam found himself in conflict with Suskova, who formed a new team in July within the company dedicated to controlling future, quote, superintelligent AI systems. The dispute reached its boiling point in October, when, according to a source familiar with the relationship, Altman made a move to reduce Suskova's role in the company. 
Fast forward to November 6th. It was the day that OpenAI hosted its first developer conference in San Francisco. Sam Altman made several announcements regarding customized versions of ChatGPT. It's going to enable users to make task-specific chatbots. These custom GPTs might operate independently in the future. That's a major red flag for safety concerns. These announcements were the last nail in the coffin. They had had enough. Sam was going too far. And for the rest of the story, we know how that all panned out. And the last reason, a possible AGI breakthrough. According to Reuters, an additional concern may have been simmering within the company. The report suggests that some staff researchers penned an internal letter to the board cautioning about the discovery of an advanced AI with the potential to pose a threat to humanity. These researchers flagged the potential danger of this new model in their letter, but did not specify the exact safety concerns. There has been no official statement from OpenAI regarding these letters, but they did acknowledge a project called Q. Because first, I need to be real with you. It is very hard to know right now what Q-Star actually is. We know from Reuters reporting that, according to their sources, it may be some kind of powerful artificial intelligence discovery at OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, and that there are fears it is so powerful it could threaten humanity. That sounds really dramatic, but this discovery was apparently alarming enough that at some point after a group of OpenAI researchers took their concern to the board, like, oh my God, are you all aware of what this company is working on? The CEO, Sam Altman, was fired. Now it gets a little murky here, but some believe that this project could be the highly anticipated AGI or artificial general intelligence, which is capable of outperforming humans in any economically viable task. The day will come when the digital brains that live inside our computers will become as good and even better than our own biological brains. We call such an AI an AGI, artificial general intelligence. It was a step towards artificial general intelligence. I know it sounds complicated, but simply put, it's artificial intelligence that is more powerful than humans. Now, open AI staffers believe that this could threaten humanity. So some of them wrote a letter to the board this could also be the reason for the firing of Sam Altman. In my personal opinion, I would be shocked to see this. I would think something like this would be at least five years away, but who knows what's going on behind the scenes. But anyway, just over a week ago, Altman hinted at a significant breakthrough during a summit in San Francisco. Was he alluding to this discovery? No one knows for sure. With generative AI falling into the hands of ever more people, there's bound to be more junk emails and spam calls. It doesn't bode well for online security. And this isn't to mention data brokers. Right now, your personal information is being sold online without you even knowing it. This information can be used to send unsolicited content, sell your browsing habits, and even commit identity theft, if there was only a way to stop this from happening. This is where today's sponsor, Incogni, comes in. They can delete your information from the records of data brokers on your behalf. All you have to do is create an account, let Incogni contact the data brokers, and then let them take care of the rest. To get started and protect yourself online, use the code COLDFUSION at the link below to get 60% off an annual Incogni plan. Go to incogni.com slash coldfusion to get started. Okay, now back to the video. All in all, in the end, it appears that Microsoft and Sam Altman are the biggest winners in this whole debacle. Altman will continue to lead the company, now with a board that is, in theory, more supportive of his vision. Is this going to be good or bad for the rest of us? We'll have to wait and see. Satya Nadella has also voiced his support. However, the power tussle and internal drama don't exactly bode well. OpenAI is the company that started the generative AI revolution. They're supposed to set the standards while this industry is in its infancy. AI can be a dangerous tool if used wrongly, so governments and policymakers are watching this. It's not the kind of spectacle that you want onlookers to see. For people like us, it's just another episode of drama, a tad amusing and a smidge terrifying. I say terrifying because, in Ilya Sutskova's regret tweet, Elon Musk replied this, quote, Why did you take such a drastic action? If open AI is doing something potentially dangerous to humanity, the world needs to know. And that's kind of true. If OpenAI has indeed created something dangerous behind the scenes, that paints the chaotic week in a totally different light. 
So what's your take on this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. I'll also leave the biography of Sam Altman in the description and at the end of this video. So anyways, that's about it from me. Thanks for watching. My name is Dagogo, and you've been watching Cold Fusion, and I'll catch you again soon for the next episode. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.